Hi, I'm Akrab. I'm the God RF. And we're the 2v2 duo for Immortals. It off, and once again, the 2v2 reverse sweep for Akrab and RF. Every single match we go into, we think we're the best duo in the league every single time. We have the confidence in ourselves, and we win. Yeah, so they, they use the Goblin Cage in the middle, and that's pretty useless, like a same lane lava, so we just started our push. Mm -hmm. uh, when they do Gob Cage like that, by the time the lava like gets past, um, we can start stacking troops behind our lava, uh, because we know that it's going to like explode and not be able to do anything. Uh, so then we can start stacking. Even if they use like poison right here, that means our lava gets like extra value if they don't have poison in cycle. Right so here you can see they drop their back in, it dies like in two seconds, and most of our troops are still alive. And we have another offensive lightning, just so our troops can get some more value, and it uh, ends up killing the Mega Knight also. So right here, we like realized the, the matchup we played the first game, except it's flipped this time, so we're pretty confident that we could win. Mm -hmm. They were able to win in this matchup. Yeah. Like, the one thing that they didn't do well in the first game is that, like, I, I forgot what happened, but they went down too much and allowed us to get a tower. Uh, so as soon as we recognized like what we were going up against, we were like, alright, if we play slow, play super passive, let them go into us, um, then we're going to have no problem being able to defend pretty easily. And here I did the Lava Bridge just because with these, like this matchup specifically, the Lava Push, you're usually not going to be able to build like one massive push to take the full tower. So we just have to like slowly Lava, slowly Miner, and spell out their tower. Mm -hmm. You can see right here, lava slowly chipping away. Yep. Every push, like if they defend perfectly, should get around like 400 to 500 damage. Right here, it only got 200, um, but you know. Right here we missed the goblin cage, but then the, the lightning was started to clean it up. Mm -hmm. And we didn't take that much damage. And at this point, we're even going into double elixir. Uh, we know that like we're gonna really start being able to stack. And uh, as long as we get this one defense, like one of our favorite plays is to do like double baby dragon and it just eats up, especially against like these like heavy ground uh, like attacks and stuff. Yeah. So after we defended this push, we do lava bridge because we still had two baby dragons alive, so we wanted to get some value out of those. Mm -hmm. We use the lightning, so then we're able to drop our two mega minions and our lumberjack and uh, we get some more chip damage with the lava pups here and the miner comes in. Yeah, slowly chipping away. Now it's at 1500. We're still 1800. Right there with the miner in the back, forcing out the e because otherwise it's like 500 damage. That means their push is just a little bit weaker, and then our defense gets a lot easier. Yeah. So I think here we realized we're down a little bit, so we, we might play like a little more defensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mini Pekka getting two shots means that like this baby dragon Dark Prince is gonna just eat. Another lava bridge because we want to keep our troops alive. As you can see, yeah, the rage is in there. Do a high enough fisherman that it's able to pull, get the mini Pekka down. And at this point, we have so much on the field. Yeah. Um, we're, we're feeling really good at this point. The mini Pekka plus the fisherman is like such a fun combo. They try and like keep stacking back and then it just so pulls I think everything. This is probably one of their mistakes. They pushed into our Lava Hound so we're able to defend with our Dark Prince and Mega Minion. And then the Lava Hound still goes in front so we get a, a good counter push here. And I think this is where we get a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. so Mega Minion for Baby Drag to win the bridge battle. Yep. And after that lightning, especially with the miss, it's just like. Let's just, let's go all in. Yeah. We don't think that they're able to stop it. Even if they do, they're gonna be so low. Yeah, that it baby won't dragon matter. locks and that's good. Yeah. Line and takes. And then we get really happy <laughs> because we win. And then we're, we got our little celebration going, <laughs> cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, you know, as pro players, we thought the exact same thing going into season one. 2v2 didn't really feel like a competitive mode, but as soon as like you start playing, 
you realize just how in depth you can get into. There's still matchups in 2v2. If we have double lava and they have Pekka Mega Knight, we're gonna be winning that every time if we recognize early on and then we're able to like abuse what they don't have. If there was like a 2v2 thing in game, like a competitive mode, it would quickly become the best part of CRL. I'm the God RF. And I'm Mockrap. Thank you so much for watching this episode of King's Council. We appreciate all your support and we'll see you in the next video.